Well, we got our 1850 Oliver here again. Well, it's got a Schwartz loader on it. The big cylinders do leak, but these ones up here leak really bad. We already took this one off of here. So now we gotta take this one off and do the same thing to this one. So I'm gonna show you how to take these off of here and how you take apart a part of hydraulic cylinder. Well, at least a Schwartz one. Okay, got it locked in a vise here. Stuff's draining out of the pan. I'm going to show you the best of my ability to be nice if I had another hand, but basically you got this thing on the end here, and you're going to turn it. You got this slot right here, and there's a ring in there. What you have to do is find the end of that ring. Okay, so we're going to turn it. Right there, I see the end. And if it's nice, see the end? If you, it wasn't nice, you'd have to pry it up with a screwdriver and do this. But when they're nice, they'll just catch the edge. And you just take this thing. And you're going to twist it until that ring comes loose. Now you feel it's loose. You're going to wiggle it. You're going to wiggle it, and in this groove, the end of it sits in a little slot, and you got to get it to come out of there. And there you go, but that end's supposed to be bent, but I've had to bend it to get it to come out of there. Which I shouldn't have to do, but there's dirt in my way. Okay, now that you got that ring out of there, the trick is, you're going to get this vice grips on here. If you don't have big vice grips, you got to get one. It's the best vice grips made. You're going to clamp it on here. It's loose, but you're going to clamp it on there as tight as you can. You're going to beat it with a hammer, and this thing will work its way out. And if you're smart, you'll know that. Have your drain pan down there. you got to watch it once the thing that's on the cylinder comes out, because then you'll have a lot of fluid, because this whole thing here is full of fluid. That you definitely need your drain pan there for. Okay, but we got that loose. So now I'll show you how to pull this out of here and then take the other seal apart. So, you're going to stick it through here because this whole thing's got to slide out. Well, I just got a, it's a pry bar that doesn't have this pry bar in it, it's just got that in. You stick it in here. And if it's not coming like this, you got to take and you got to beat it again. It's slowly but surely coming. So you really want these cylinders open as far as you can with, before you do this, it just makes it easier. That is how you get it out. And as you can see, the seal on it is messed up and shot. Okay, we got this in the vise here, and now you gotta get the seal out of here. And this thing is threaded on the end. So you just stick a bolt in this hole. And your seal's just on there, and then there's an O-ring on here. And that seals that. And you can slide this off. And there's a seal inside the end of that. There's your seal. And you gotta take out your snap ring. Okay, now we're going to reassemble. We got new seals. Okay, there's a lip on these here. And that has to be pointed towards the direction of the pressure. Never install any sort of seal dry. Just make sure you get it so it goes in there good and then it'll keep you from wrecking a seal. Take one piece at a time. Just make sure you get them in there the right direction. Now you got to put the washer in on top of them. Got to get it pressed down in there so you can get the snap ring in on top of it. Just going to press them seals down in there with the vise. Just getting the top seal started. 
Make sure you lube up your new seals. Carefully slide around. You can see that them new seals really seal compared to them old ones. The old ones just slid right off. And now we're going to be smart. We just put some washers in here. We're just going to press it on the end. Okay, now we put our O-ring on here. We got our O-ring inside of here. Make sure you got that. Then you got like a flat spacer washer thing that goes on here. You got to get that lip to slide past there. Make sure you do it without wrecking the lip. Seems like it's bigger than that. You took a number off of there, though. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to want to oil up these seals real good. Get some inside your cylinder. It goes in there in the hole and then it turns into it. Yep. From the hole side like that. Okay. Turn it till that clips all the way in. Turn it slightly past. <laughs> 